This silly sausage drop is the epitome of a fun wood feature, but now we're left with dirt. Ever since we had to remove the wood features from my backyard trails, it's been my first priority to make trails rideable again. On Silly Sausage, there's no way to hit the jumps now that the drop is gone. In its place, we'll need to put a jump here that gives riders the perfect amount of speed into the trail. This task may seem simple, but it's harder than it looks. You see, we made Silly Sausage tabletops which transform the trail into the main one here. This was a good idea when I look back on it, except it's going to take a lot of dirt to make this new jump the way I see it. We do have Crazy Train which was all wood features, and most dirt will be coming from those lips and landing. Let's get started piling up logs to create a frame for our new step down tabletop. Some of these logs are absolutely beautiful, and that's because they were all the posts for both the whale tail and step up on Crazy Train. Since there's no other use for it, we're just going to throw them in the jump. Yeah, perfect. And then if this one's like, we just build a little cage here on the outside. And then we have a few of the logs to kind of build the outside so that it requires less dirt. Yeah. I ended up building a cage out of the logs using the bigger ones as a base, and this will better support the tabletop portion of this new step down. Let's get to building a lip so that we can make sure the distance works before filling it all in. To build the lip, we started by taking out the Crazy Train step up lip because the dirt was amazing. On a jump, the lip is always the most important part to have the best dirt because that's what people are riding with the most pressure. All right, so this is a lot of dirt that we have behind me for this new lip of the table, but I still think we need a little bit more. I thought that we were spending days on the Crazy Train step up lip, but it's almost gone and we have only this amount of dirt. So it really goes to show how much dirt shrinks, but I think a few more wheelbarrows and then we can get to shaping up and then packing the lip. All right, so I think I have enough dirt to start shaping up this lip. It's about 24 wheelbarrows. Looks a lot smaller from what I'm seeing right here. Gap's about 10 feet, so it's definitely gonna need to be a step down because the speed that we're getting out of this isn't as much as I was expecting and not as much as I'd like, but I still think we can make this thing pretty fun.
think it'll be I think it'll be pretty good. What do you think? I think probably be like perfectly clear it, I think. Hopefully. Yep. You can't really judge smaller takeoffs by how they look. This one felt especially floaty and I knew it would work perfectly. Let's quickly tune up this lip before we start filling in the gap. Alright, so now we're out here. We just rode this lip in last time and it works really nicely so I don't want to change it except the only problem is it looks like a piece of garbage. There's a rut forming in the middle because we didn't pack it enough. So I'm going to touch it up and fill it in and then we can start on the tabletop part. Now let's fill in that gap. In addition to having to take out the wood features, we're also not allowed to dig any deep holes, so we decided to cut the landing of the berm crusher hip out farther. All of the bad dirt that lays over top of the clay we're going to be using can be thrown in this borrow pit because we need to fill it up. Now that this area is mostly clear of topsoil, we can get down to the good dirt and throw it in the junk. One of the logs that I used inside the jump was about to fall down so I hammered in these stakes before moving the dirt around. This solution should be a lot better because I made the stakes a lot more stable so that the log will never fall down. Now we can get to raking and packing the jump so we can try it out. Alright, let's give this trail a send. This new step down is absolutely perfect as it sends riders into the rest of the line with the exact speed that I had hoped. It's easy to clear the next two jumps and that's what makes it so fun. Treading it, treading it, treading it.
That's it for this week's video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Next week, we'll be back on the Double Black Trail, creating a new entrance to Air Supply. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next week.